Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi, my name is Muhammad Amir Ranaqib bin Azmi. I'm from class EMD2 M1B and my student ID is 20211015293. So today I'll be presenting for my test video for subject MEC451. So let's get started. And so my questions come from the practice problem 3.2, question 2. The question asks, a 0 0.6 meter cube rigid tank initially contains saturated refrigerant 134A vapor at 1200 kilopascal. As a result of heat transfer from the refrigerant, the pressure drops to 400 kilopascal. Show the process on a PV diagram with respect to saturated lines and determine firstly the final temperature Secondly, the amount of refrigerant as condensed, and lastly, the heat transfer. Okay, so start. Okay, so here are some of the given information based on the question. Firstly, we're able to know the volume of the tank, which is 0 0.6 meter cube. The ref um, secondly, we know what we're dealing with uh, the substance for this question is refrigerant 134A. So, refrigerant 134A is a saturated vapor VG at the start of this process. And the initial pressure that is given to us is 1200 kilopascal and the final pressure is 400 kilopascal. Okay, first thing first, when you got a question, we have to do the assumptions. And here are my assumptions. Well, when we the question mentioned rigid tanks, it is a closed system. So in a closed system, the only thing that can flow in and out is energy. So there is no mass flow. Mass and volume is constant. The tanks, uh, I can, uh, you can also say the tank is stationary because there is no movement happen. So I can assume that the kinetic energy and potential energy for this question equals to zero and initial energy initial refrigerant 134a is 100 percent vapor okay and the specific volume is constant so the initial and final specific volume remains the same which is v1 equals to v2 so now we're going to look at the pv diagram so here are how I present you my idea of the PV diagram. This is the center line here. And as you can see, this uh, number one here indicates the first state of the refrigerant, which is in uh, 1200 kilopascal. And point two here is the final state of the refrigerant, which is 400 kilopascal. As you can see from the image here, this line is a vertical line which indicate it is an isochoic processes also there is no area under the lines so and there is no area under the lines and it is an isochoric process it means that the, there is no work done so we can assume that work is zero and also in addition i like to add a few things such as Here, okay, here's state. So here is the refrigerant in a uh, liquid. Here is refrigerant in a uh, gas form. And here is refrigerant in a uh, liquid gas mixture. So your understand more as we go through the question of why i mentioned about this and why does the saturated line becomes only vertical because it's simply because the volume does not change only the pressure is changed in this processes now we're going to look back at question a so here I only provide you with the table for the saturated refrigerant 134A pressure table. 
is also known as table A12. You can see on page 930. And so basically, basically I have uh, cropped it out. So this is actually all the information that we're going to need to solve this question. And so I'm going to like the quest first question is question A. It asks us to find the final temperature. Yeah. Okay, for the final temperature, it's actually pretty straightforward. We just need to look at the final state of the refrigerant which is at the 400 kilopascal and you can see from this table according to this table when a uh, saturated refrigerant 134A is at 400 kilopascal the temperature of it would be 8.91 degrees celsius it's pretty straightforward and that's the answer for question A moving on and now we're looking at question B. Question B asks the amount of refrigerant that has condensed. Now for this question, we're actually going to use this formula, which is the mass condensed equals to in bracket y minus final quality close bracket multiples by mass. And so uh, we're actually missing out two components here which is the first one is the final quality and the second is the mass they are not given from the question so we have to figure it ourselves okay so for final quality this is the formula that i'll be going to use and the to find the total mass m this is the formula i'll be used okay so we going to look okay so the first step that we're taking is to find final quality and this is the equation I use. So I use this equation. Uh, first thing I'm going to explain about this equation. So the final quality equals to the final state of the refrigerant minus its uh, specific volume in the liquid over VGF. This bottom here is equals to VGF. This one actually equals to VGF but since we don't have VGF from our table so we need to calculate by uh, doing VG minus VF then we can get VGF okay so as I mentioned earlier the V2 equals to V1 so we have V1 at 1200 kilopascal or vg at 1200 kilopascal v1 equals to 0 0.01671 meter cube per kilogram and that also be the same for v2 so here are the information another information extracted from the table which is the vf at 400 kilopascal is 0 0.007907 meter cube per kilogram while vg is 0 0.051201 meter cube per kilogram and so we have all the information required here we can simply uh, put it in this equation and we'll get this and finally the answer here we get the final quality is 0 0.3159 there is no unit in for this calculation there is no unit okay moving on now for find the total mass okay this is the equation that we we'll use mass equals to v over v1 v here is the volume of tank volume tank which we know from the question we were given 0 0.6 meter cube okay and for v1 we just we already did so v1 is 0 0.016715 so we can again put it in the whole, whole equation and transfer it and we get mass equals to 35.9 kilogram So the amount of refrigerant that has condensed MC, okay, so now we have 
all the components we need we already find M and we already find final quality so we just need to transfer it in this equation so in this equation if you're wondering why I have to make Y minus XF1 because the refrigerant is in the vapor state so in the vapor state the quality equals to 1 so uh, you can see from the graph here see the saturated line is intersected with these lines and yeah it, it, this one actually equals to 1 and it touch this line it equals to 0 okay so basically that's the idea for the uh, why we use 1 minus xf okay so here we have 1 minus find equality uh, multiplied by 0 0.6 then we get the answer for question b which is 24.56 kilogram And now we're going to solve for question C, which is it asks us to find the heat transfer. So, again, uh, heat is a form of energy. So, knowing the energy balance for the first law equation can be written as E in minus E out, which is the net energy transfer by heat or work in mass. It also equals to delta E system, means the change in internal or this kinetic and potential energy. So if we were to rewritten or uh, rearrange this first equation, we can rewrite with this whole nine component here. But in our case, we're dealing with this some of them. As you can see, for a closed system, the mass can flow through it then the energy balance equation can be written as this one or finally this one we look at this one so as we know we are not working with any type of work there is no work in this question we are also not dealing with any of kinetic energy and potential energy so we just cross that one out and we will be left with q equals to delta u this is the diagram which I was talking for the whole time the nickel systems mass and volume constant mass cannot uh, cross through the boundaries only energy can so moving on to the next part so we know that we dealing with uh, heat transfer Q okay this one here equals to delta U So in order for us to find heat transfer Q, we must find several things beforehand, which is the mass. We already have the mass. We don't have uh, internet, energy, internet energy U and we don't have internet energy U1 and U2. So to find this, uh, the, basically the general step that we're taking to find the internet initial internet energy and the final initial internet energy so the first thing we look at is find internet energy at u1 which is the u1 is the start of this process which is at 1200 kilopascal so uf according to the table is equal to 253.81 kJ per gram this one's also referred for the, to the same table that we look. I also follow this one and see from 1200 kilopascal the u g is 253.81 okay so i have written everything here see so that basically is the internet energy for u1 so now we need to find internet energy for u2 so for u2 the thing the different thing about u2 is we have to use this formula here which is uf 
plus XF final state final quality uh, multiples by UFG. So as I mentioned earlier, I said that uh, whereas the pressure be decrease for the refrigerant, actually it actually makes this refrigerant to become in a mixed state of liquid and vapor so that is why we also have to use here ufg is included here so u2 okay so the formula is like uf at 400 kilopascal and so ufg at 400 kilopascal this two can be obtained from the table but this one we have already find it previously so we just insert everything we just uh, substitute everything here we can insert the okay then finally we able to come up with this answer this one is the final internet energy sorry this is one sorry this one is the final internet energy Okay, there's a typo there. Sorry. So, after finding all the components, we can again substitute all the components that we need into this equation by substituting M equals to here, U1 equals to here, and U2 equals to here. So, finally, we have like this. And we get the answer is Q equals to negative 4883 kilojoule, but it's fine. It is transfer of energy, so it means we know that the material is losing its heat. So if you want to have a better answer, you can simply make it 4883 kilojoule. So that is all from me. I uh, thank you for much for watching my video and special thanks to Dr. Idris Bin Saad for teaching me this course and that is all from me thank you and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh